Hi, I'm Miranda Seuss, a wedding photographer, Moments Photography, based in New York and New Jersey. And I'm here to share you some really awesome things about Lightroom. And I'm using the 2022 version of Lightroom Classic. Let's get started. So, this is an image here that I fully edited. And then I want to show you before and after how you can make something like this straight out of camera on the left look like something on the right. So I'll show you step by step how do I do that. So I'm going to reset this image so it looks like straight out of camera. Yeah, when I'm, I'm a professional wedding photographer and the crop is off. The angle is kind of distorted. This, is ha this happens really on wedding days. It's not perfect every single time you shoot. So don't get discouraged if you're into photography and your photos also turn a little bit like this too. So some uh, photo editing in Lightroom will really uh, spruce it up and make it look professional. This is how you do it. So I'm going to turn off or toggle off this before and after feature and just toggle the full frame here. And the first thing I like to do always is crop and I do the auto option and then I can take this little guy here and I could straighten it by just, whoops, I can fix that. Pick something on here to straighten. Like this line is really easy to see. So just do something like that. Okay, that looks pretty straight. Um, done. And now it kind of, obviously it looks a little off. So let me go down here to the transform. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, and I can see here by my grid lines, right? Uh, if it is pretty straight, and uh, here's a great line to look at here, right? On the window, when I hover here, and it looks like it's straight as can be, uh, no distortion whatsoever. Now, I do feel like this framing is off, so I'll go back to the crop and bring it down like this, because this line here tells me I need to keep the face above this line because you don't want too much space above their heads, right? So I'm going to bring this out a bit. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to center this one. Done, right? Okay, so this on the left, this curtain's really bugging me. Um, it, it's, a, it's a bad crop, so I'm going to fix that by cropping it in like so. That looks way, way better. Okay, so... Uh, I create my own presets. It's one of the coolest features in Lightroom. And uh, you can create your own by creating a preset. I would play with this on the right hand side. Play with however you like to edit your style. And then you could create the preset based on whatever you applied to that image. So I'm going to apply the same preset that I already did to the last image right here. I'm going to copy it by going control shift C on my PC and I pick all these check marks so you can freeze this video and see what I checked off. Copy there and then click on the image I want to paste it to and that is the control shift V. Okay now this is what I love about Lightroom's 2022 update. It is a game changer. So if you don't have Lightroom, oh my God, what are you waiting for? Okay, so you click on this mask. looks like a circle. Select subject. Lightroom has become so smart. It'll pick the subject in my image. And it's these people, right? Beautiful, beautiful people. So it selected all these people, right? And now I have a preset already. For face, you can look at that. Amazing. Um, so it didn't affect anything in the background that wasn't selected, only on who was selected. Now, I, if I zoom in here and go in Control Plus, you can see between her hair and the mirror is a little bit lighter. Uh, most people won't pick that up, but I'm picking it up as an editor. And what I could do is erase from the mask so i'm going to click on this brush tool and i'm going to hit the backwards bracket it's next to the letter p on your key keyboard to make this brush smaller and then i'm going to erase 
here. Wow, so deselects that from uh, the mask. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I'll show you the before and the after. Holy crap, game changer to your wedding photography or photography in general. All right, hopefully that helps you with some tips on advancing your photography. Oh, and if you wanted to know the mask, face, edit, screenshot this, pause the video, you can copy it. Uh, let's see if I click on the mask here. This is where you can screenshot, copy and paste uh, the sliders here for the my face preset for masks. My gosh. Enjoy. Goodbye. Have a great day.